Hotties. How are you? Boop, 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 boop. I am doing your mid-November to December read of this current year. Yay. How are y'all doing? Lovely, I hope. Taurus, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please check your charts. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, don't worry about it. Just boop your nose and away it goes. And away it goes. Anyway, Taurus, I hope you're doing a lovely... Here's your first row. Six cups. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Uh, for any newcomers want a personal all infos down below first readings on the house and I take tips and donations yeah yeah that's exactly how that goes anyway let's continue Taurus we have the six of cups memories fond memories are in your whole whatchamacallit right but we got a situation where you're trying to fill a void by being creative or just finding where your area of criteria and what you want to invest in yourself. Um, look, at, listen to me trying to sound all smart and such. You're trying to like explore what creative avenues you got. I will say. Maybe you're curious. Maybe you're wondering what's out there. I feel like you got more options than anything. Up above, we got Queen of Pentacles. That could easily be you. Also, Capricorn or Virgo. That's in the wants and wishes, but she's reversed. So who wants and wishes for a bit, if, well, for this Karen right here. This very um, mature Karen who knows that she can speak to your manager and make you feel like shit at your job. Right, right. D then we got the obstacle and challenge with the six of pentacles reverse a lot of unfairness which makes sense because this queen of pentacles doesn't seem like she really gives a shit about everybody else as much as she does her coin right fears and rejections the five of cups reverse and now it should start so it'll end the three amigos with the three cups trying to have a good time despite the fact that there's a fish with teeth and then we have the King of Pentacles. Ooh, that could be you too. That's the counterparts as well. Hmm. I feel like you want to try to get your money a little bit, Taurus. Hmm. Or you already got it and you're and like you're showing that shit. Just be like, boom. Behold my pente call. Let's see. There's something about the past that made you think something was unfair. But I also feel like every time you bring it up, this shit kind of happens. So I'm not sure what that is. It's like something triggers another person and then they want to get on someone else's case. Or maybe there's something from the past that makes you feel as though you're emulating this. Because I feel like those are connected for some reason. And it's all based on this unfairness. Oh, that's the wrong deck. My bad. Huh. Let's see. This six of cups right here. There you is. There you is, the Empress, just all happy and shit on your stone porch with your bare feet, just being like, I'm pretty today. But there's some sort of feeling of a resurrection that's left people a zombie. It's like, you know, these two dudes, they just got resurrected straight out the dirt. Just sitting there like, oh, it's a new day with some bitch dancing in the background. But instead of coming back alive with their souls, they're almost like without their souls. That are like zombies wanting to like eat people's brains for some fucking reason. Like they do in the movies. Which I don't know why it's always brains with zombies. Because they always seem like they always eat like skin and shit in movies. Like I've never really seen them go after the, the head very often. Have you noticed that? They always bite into people's like limbs and abdomens and shit. But they never go for the fucking head. 
And I thought zombies liked brains, you know? Like, I, I don't know. That just popped into my head all of a sudden. Anyway. The situation with the Seven of Cups, right? Looking at your options. I think you're curious about where every stage will lead you. You've been down in the dumps before, and now you're trying to get back up from that with the Five of Swords reverse. <clears throat> Even though everything... Hmm. What, the person who, like, kind of defeated you or had control over you? Because this dude's getting back up, but I feel like that's you. But there's this other person on the other side who's sitting there almost standing there proud that he won the battle. But he gets old and all of his shit burns down, so what the fuck is that? Like, I don't... I'm not sure I, I understand this, Taurus. It's like... Yeah, dude's got silver hair, hair, but you telling me a year later he grew a beard, he started growing it out, and then, like, his countryside started burning? Or something? I'm dropping one more on that, because, like, I'm not sure if I'm getting the message correctly or not, because that's, like... Hmm. Yeah. Now there's a wait for something to come in that's fruitful. Okay. Um, just make sure... Not to idolize that bitch. Don't you idolize that bitch or you will lose yourself. Whatever that may be. I'm not sure what that means, but whatever. You know better than I do. Anyway, Queen of Pentacles. Could be you, Capricorn, or, Tor or Virgo, Taurus. Whichever you prefer. This is the wants and wish. Here is the Page of Wands ready to take impulsive action. Spread new good news, maybe go on travels or such stuff. Um, the problem is someone's really in the dark of, like, um, what is an invitation, but they're willing to wait and see. But Fate's not having that shit, because there needs to be some sort of communication here that before anything else happens with these travels. Or with the discussion, or with whatever is going on right here, right? And if you don't do that, you will definitely bite off more than you can chew. So be very cautious. Like, there's a lot of strength here, Taurus. But don't abuse that strength and take it as if, like, it's a tool for, you know, you to flaunt, if you will. Right? Don't let whatever it is. Like, I feel like you're in a mode to be a little bit selfish because the Queen of Pentacles is like that. Like, she's definitely a mother figure. Um... In this, all of her kids are starving, but she's too busy making that money. Like, we got, like, millions and millions of dollars in the bank. Mommy, can you buy us some food? That costs money. What are you asking me? <laughs> oh, that's such an earth sign thing to do. It is. But you get my drift, right? It's like she's too focused on the money. So she needs to slow down a bit. Because I feel like if she doesn't slow down... Um, and actually acknowledge what's around her. This impulsive impulsivity could lead her to putting her foot in her mouth and like really screwing things up, you know. Come here, card. Here we go. All right, obstacle and challenge. Taurus is the six of pentacles, right? Oh yeah, cross watch your switch where you need to. You know, I got three cards on it, but I'll give it to you. Right? Um, something's kind of unfair. Somebody's not get, Somebody is definitely withholding more pentacles and then acting like everybody's broke together. Which which is a really Libra thing to do. Honestly. Like, my dad is a Libra, right? And he'll say he's broke, but he means I'm broke and giving you any money. I still got, like, $300 aside somewhere for myself, but when it comes for sharing... Um, no, I'm goddamn broke. Like, this motherfucker would come up with, like, four or five hundred dollars to give to the church, but be saying he's broke to my mom all week, and it's just like, motherfucker, what the fuck does that even mean? I, like, it totally skewed my perception of how money works. Mmm, <laughs> mm, mm, mm. -mm. So we got, with this right here, definitely could be air sign involved. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. 
someone's just not hunting for information or trying to learn something, I feel like. It's like they don't want to execute something. They'd rather everything end wonky before, like, they would go and actually do something about it. If that makes any sense to y'all. Like, I don't know why, but yours is, uh, uh, yours is kind of like, hmm. But they don't want to find anything out. They'd rather just leave everything alone and, like, go a different direction. Like, both of these dudes are, like, not going anywhere near, um, this screwed up cycle, if you will. I don't know why, but whatever. I guess they're just pussies. Oh, um, because they already know they'll get caught up in their shit, you know? Like, you can't, like, act like you control everything in town and someone not revolts around you. You're only someone's young child who grows up into a sturdy, fatidious man who will overthrow you, so saith Hollywood. Which is really never the case. <laughs> it's very rare governments get overthrown. Alright, fears and rejections is five of cups reversed. Hello, kitten. What are you doing? What is up? What is up with you? Yes. Nice, silky, silky, soft little girl. Alright. Yeah, tower came down. And everybody already kind of knew it. And it was just like, oh, it happened again. There it goes. Who knew... Who would have figured this situation was going down the exact way I almost thought it was, I feel like? It's like someone already knows the consequences to their actions. And they would rather just leave the turtle and go elsewhere. Just be like, here's my turtle. You can keep him. His name's Melvin. Bye. I'll see you later. You know? Alright, the catalyst as well as the final result, what comes full circle. This three of cups right here, this merriment, this group, he's all happy and drunk, even though they're in the, a fucking fish with some teeth. Right, very uncomfortable, but very enjoyable. A little bit of risks coming along with having that pleasure, right? Um, something is slowly but surely coming your way, Taurus, or that could be you, slowly but surely, uh, throwing something in the mix. Um, despite the fact that you probably don't mesh well. Or you eventually realize you don't mesh with these people. I'll lay one more down. I feel like. I feel like you figure out that you just don't get along with it. Yeah, and then you're gonna condemn shit. Yeah, you're just not in the mood. You're not in the mood. Okay. And your ending theme is you want to get out of this shit so you can get your pentacles going with the king of pentacles. Lead that success, y'all. Right? What are you doing, kids? Are you worried Doggo is going to come back over here? Because he's probably going to, and I'm probably going to feed him the rest of my roast beef. So, like my neighbor's moved... My neighbor came back, he moved back in, and I think he's better now, and he brought the dog back, and I'm like, oh, my bestie's back. I'm so excited. I love that dog. <laughs> Alright, clarifying everything, just in case. Your energy. Definitely wanted to work on stuff, but that requires you to release a lot of things, too. Especially dealing with the past, man. Might have something to do with the past. Doesn't matter, you still gotta let that shit go. Alright, the situation down below that. There is a chance to go back to your roots to, like, figure some things out. But I feel like that's only because... It's hard to separate your emotions from such. It's like, you want to go back to your parents... Only because you have that attachment that you can't let go of, I feel like. I don't think it's that deep as much as it is that important and practical, though. You know, uh, Taurus, you're pretty practical creatures. Thank you for that. You know, but I feel like it's more like practicality. You know, it's just like, oh, well, here's this tradition. We need to do that tradition. All of that shit. Let's just keep the order going. At least there's diplomacy and all this. Like, you know, like, earth signs are pretty diplomatic, I'll have to say. Like, we're cool with being diplomatic with motherfuckers. 
fire signs always want to fight all the time. Water signs are just emotional, and air signs are just calculating motherfuckers. And I don't get them. <laughs> but earth signs aren't too bad. And it's like, you're trying to be diplomatic in this, I feel like. Over here with your wants and wishes, man. Like, you got the Empress Reverse and the Magician Reverse. You're not... I feel like whatever it is that you're wanting, Taurus and Cross Watchers, is based on the stem that you feel as though... Um, I almost want to say it's like you don't think that... um. Mm. How could I word this without saying without sounding more of an asshole than what I already am? Um, it's not that you don't check up on people a lot, which is like I I I'll, like I'll say that's kind of crazy because you guys are like number one when it comes to chatting with people. You know, like you're literally the friendliest zodiac I think there is. But I feel like um, shit, I forgot what I was gonna say. With this, uh, Queen of Pentacles reverse, right? I feel like it's more of a stem of just... Feeling as though... Your accomplishments make up for your feelings. Does that make sense, y'all? Uh, I would hope so, because I don't know. I feel like that's important to say. I feel like you trying to um, set yourself up for life is a really great thing. But you have to, like, slow down, man. Just a little bit. Yeah. Like, you guys appreciate consistency. You know? And I will say that. But, like, don't be... Don't be jumping in this shit because just because it's, like, just because it's consistent. Okay? Like, that's really important, I feel like, you know, because that could lead you to not only being bitter, but setting your own self up to get stabbed by the magician's sword. You know, don't let your consistency make you think that you should rush things, because I feel like this is all about rushing. I feel like Booty Man, Knight of Wands right here is about rushing. There's a lot of rush. See, down below in the obstacle and challenge. Oh, we got the six of wands and the six of pentacles reverse, which is actually the obstacle and challenge in this. It's like. Okay. <laughs> um. get your stuff? Yes. Cool. Yep. Yes. Okay, so like, Taurus? I think... Okay. Person who's being unfair originally. Person who's not being treated fair. Right? I feel like someone wants karma to come in and make the person who was treated unfairly the top dog and then make the person who, um wasn't sharing enough the little dog right it's a vice versa thing it's like hold up let me god i just i know i haven't clipped my nails yet that's why i can pick this stuff up all right so look at right these guys positions are completely different you know when you really look at it like this dude sits at this dude's position this guy sits in this guy's position right this dude is obviously older than this person, and this guy is very much older in this situation. Whereas, this younger uh, chap is the one wearing the red. It's like a reversal role. Someone wants to, um... Gain a victory in this obstacle and challenge by making the person who treated them unfairly be treated unfairly. Which I have to say is like, oh shit, okay. <laughs> Fear and rejection up top. Boop. Someone wanted wish fulfillment and they got it just not in the way they wanted. But they laid their stakes there. And I feel like it is a calmer place as well. I feel like someone like 
feels more like a servant, but there's really not much they can do because they already are getting off the boat. They're on that position. It's just like, oh, I'm already here. Shit. You know. Or they're trying to look for a calmer place despite that. All right. Final card. We have the devil right here with temptations. Mind you, here's the uh, tower. And the tower's already been struck once, so this would be like a lesson coming up again. All right? Someone's trying to tempt that shit. And that's all based. Eh, 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 that is, eh, if someone is trying to um, tempt somebody, possibly with alcohol, possibly with just a good time. Um, but dude will eventually fall off of his horse and be dragged through town in a drunken stupor. Uh, Taurus, be very careful. Cause like, yeah, you know. But. That's the end of the reading, y'all. So if you enjoyed this, please like, share, and subscribe if that's what you want to do. No biggie. I'll appreciate it either way, though. But you guys have a wonderful day. I love your faces. I'll see you later. Bye.